Robin. Woo! Oh, I had a phone call there, sorry. What's up? How are you guys doing? Happy Friday! Ah! Carolyn, good morning! How are you? Besides one of the busiest people I'm, I know. All right, guys, morning. Robin? Carolyn's on too. Robin and Carolyn are on at the same time. Jeff, hi, how you doing? Okay, guys, here's my question for you today. Do you find that you compare yourself to others? Do you find that you compare yourself to others? It's really easy to do, right? And I'm guessing the answer is yes. At some point, we do it because we're humans. It happens. We do our body styles, or weight we're comparing to others, or finances, how much money somebody has, or how they spend their money. Happiness levels, they seem to have it all. They're happy. We'll even compare like hair, like, God, I love her hair. I wish I had my, her hair. Uh, dudes, dudes be comparing cars, like, I wish I had that guy's car. And girls do that too, I guess. Uh, but no, they're driving the minivan, and they wish they had the, I don't know, what else? Kids and family dynamics will compare. I wish I had kids. I wish I didn't have kids like her. You know, why do we do it? Why do we compare ourselves? There's a quote that says, don't compare your insides to somebody else's outsides. Because that's all we've got, right? All we've got is the information that they're showing us. And we're comparing our insides to somebody else's outsides. So I want to flip this on its head because when we compare, we're robbing ourselves of joy because we're looking outward. We're not facing inward, where, which is where you find gratitude and um, find the things in your life that actually are amazing. We're missing all that if we're constantly looking outward in comparison. So I wanna flip it on its head. <clears throat> I wanna use this power for good. So how do we do that? So when I was at Keller Williams, Gary Keller talked a lot about this concept of be, do, have. Be, do, have. What a lot of people do is they say, hey, hey, Gary, if I had what you had, like if I had the money you had, then I could hire a trainer and I could be in shape and I would do the things I need to do to have the fit body, whatever. So we always go to the end and we want to have something before we need to be the person we need to be, do the things we need to do in order to have the things we want to have. So let's use that concept when we're talking about comparison. So what if we found somebody that was standing in the shoes we wanted to stand or standing in the place we wanted to stand? They were a couple chapters ahead of us in some progress. And what if we went to them or studied them or asked them questions or just looked differently at who they are, what they're doing in order to have the things they have that we're comparing to? So for instance, what schedule do they follow? What's their morning routine look like? How tied are they to the calendar? What books do they read? What's their mindset? In other words, what's their core beliefs about money? What are their core beliefs about health? So what's sort of underneath or the behind what they have? And wouldn't that be a better thing to begin to compare ourselves to? Compare ourselves to their morning routine versus our morning routine. Their ability to stick to their schedule versus our ability to stick to our schedule. Their mindset throughout the day versus our mindset instead of always comparing ourselves to the end result. Does that make sense? It does make sense, right? So if you want to be a savvy investor like Warren Buffett, instead of just wishing you had what Warren Buffett had, Let's study Warren Buffett. What are his core beliefs about investing? What are his practices? How did he start? I mean, the dude lives in his house that he, lived, that he bought 50 years ago or something. Drives the same car. And we're not doing the things that Warren Buffett has done to have the success that Warren Buffett has. The good news is that he's got done a ton of uh, videos and interviews and read, uh, written a lot of books and we can have access to the behind the scenes who is Warren Buffett? What does he do in order to have the things he has? I hope that's resonating with you guys today. So that's how we can use comparison for good instead of evil. All right, who's here? Trina, hello. Rebecca, hello. You guys are having a good day. Let's dance, because we got to do it. So today we're going to 
a little T.I. and Rihanna, because you know, you know that's good on a Friday for sure. Right here. here we go. What you need to do is be thankful for the life you got. You know what I'm saying? Be thankful for the life you got. Stop Come looking on. at what you ain't got. Stop Come being on, thankful Becky. for what you do got. Stop Becky, dance Let's with me. Let's get to him, baby girl. Hey. Shiny stuff, fancy clothes, fancy cars, and then you see we're gonna go far. Yeah.